I am Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, and I am an American Airman. When I was five, I went to an air show, and that's where I really uh, turned my vision towards joining the Air Force. I remember looking my father in the eye and saying, I want to be a fighter pilot someday. And my parents, both of them, mother and father, looking at me and saying, we think you'd be a great fighter pilot someday. If they had told me something different, like girls can't be fighter pilots, I wouldn't be sitting here today. Choosing the Air Force Academy for me was the smoothest, most direct path to achieving that dream. I headed off to pilot training a few months after graduation uh, at Columbus Air Force Base, Mississippi. I wanted to be an officer, I wanted to fly fighters. I didn't realize all the opportunities that were out there. I truly had no idea that they had not had a woman Thunderbird pilot at the time I had applied. The application process is pretty much set in stone. There is a minimum amount of hours you need as a fighter pilot in order to be able to even apply. Uh, it took me approximately nine to 10 years to even garner all of those hours. I used to always bristle a little bit at the thought of being called a woman fighter pilot or being called the woman Thunderbird pilot. And I realized it means something to see someone who looks like you succeeding. And so if me wearing that Thunderbird uniform inspires young girls to follow their dreams, whatever it is, then I'll tell you what, that is no doubt absolutely a humbling feeling. Every day I'm pretty surprised by what the Air Force lets me do. I've now been in the Air Force more than half my life. You know, you blink and you realize, wow, how did I go from the lieutenant here 14 years ago to the commander 333rd Fighter Squadron? To know that you are a part of a team like this, to know that you are serving your country, and to know that you're a part of something so much bigger than yourself, that is reward in and of itself.